if you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't by Elise Parsley. If your mom says to get ready to play at the beach, she means with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel. She is not talking about the piano. If you roll out the piano anyway, she'll tell you you'd better not lose it. You'll tell her that it's okay. You will hold on tight to your piano and keep it neat and clean. And you'll even promise to push it to the beach yourself. Cross your heart. But on the way, your arms will get heavy. Then your legs will get draggy. So you'll find the perfect way to move the piano along. When you feel rested, you will push again. Once you're at the beach, you'll need to make sure the piano still works. Finally, you'll stop for a lunch break. The seagulls will want to share your egg and cheese sandwich. This, you know, is not good for the piano, but you'll know just what to do. Bath time. You'll splish, you'll splash. The piano will bob up and down and up and down, then up and away and out of reach. By now, of course, you'll wish you had played with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel at the beach instead of the piano. By now, you'll wish you had played with your baby sister instead of the piano. You'll be so mad. You'll want to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Borrow your brother's fishing line and cast it far, far out to catch your drifting piano. Then, when you reel the line in, you might get your piano back or you might get a boat or a frisbee or a shovel. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. You might lose it, but you never know what you might find.